And welcome to the Talking Sound Podcast. I am Chris Jordan, your host. Today, we have the absolute pleasure of, like we do every year, uh, of coming to the Texas Association of Broadcasters uh, Tech Expo, getting to talk to a whole bunch of vendors about new technology that they have coming out. Let's hop in and see what's going on. Now, one of my favorite things about that about the Texas Association of Broadcasters is that they actually allow people like us to come in. They consider us media. Um, and to be able to come in, talk to these vendors, see all of the new technology that's coming out from people like Comrex, people like Black Magic Systems, like what we're using today, people like Sennheiser, uh, that kind of stuff is fantastic, not only for the corporate audio video audience that we have, but as well as the podcasting audience, everything else. So. Um, Right over here, we actually have Comrex. Let's hop over here and take a take a quick chat real quick with Chris. Uh, oh, hey, there's Chris. Hey, how are you? Doing great. How you doing, man? Good to see you. Pleasure. Pleasure to see you again. Uh, if you could, tell our audience, we were here a little while ago talking about some of the new exciting technologies that you have g coming out. Tell us a little bit about what y'all have coming out this year. So we're just starting to ship our new Access NX rack, which is uh, basically an update to our um, very popular access rack mount codec. Uh, new hardware, and it has an HTML5 interface, and it's also AES67 compatible. So if you have like a WheatNet, an Axia, a LAWO system that's AES67 compatible, you basically just plug it into your network, and that's basically your audio I.O. And above that, we have our new access multi-rack, which is actually five, count them, five access rack mount units in a single wow. rack mount chassis with an AES67 interface. That is absolutely incredible. And that's just the rack mount stuff that you have available. You also have uh, mobile units as well as one we were talking earlier for uh, that would be great for podcast studios, stuff like that. Tell us a little bit about the Opal that you have here. Correct, so Opal is actually really interesting. It's an IP audio gateway that uses a common web browser on either a smartphone or a laptop. So. This sits in the studio. It has two audio inputs, two audio outputs, so you can actually maintain two calls at the same time. You send a link to a guest, they click on it, it opens up a web browser and it gives you a connect button. And once they connect, using a headset or a microphone into the laptop or the, the smartphone, basically you have an audio connection to this device through the internet and it sounds like they're sitting in the studio. It's 15 kilohertz audio, high quality audio, uh, using a common web browser. That is absolutely incredible. And I mean, even back in the day, whenever y'all had the rack mount, plain old telephone system codecs, right. stuff like that, you know, um, even be able to convert those nowadays. Uh, I've had many people who've asked me how they can do that. And I'm like, go out and buy yourself a $50 IP phone box, plug it into the back and you're done. Sure. But y'all have now come out with stuff that allows you to connect mobily, everything else. And that is absolutely amazing and awesome. Correct, this is a, our, our uh, very popular BrickLink codec, which okay. is basically an IP audio codec, and you can use our free field tap app to connect to this using the Opus coding algorithm, and it gives you, again, 15 kilohertz, actually 20 to 22 kilohertz audio um, using just a free app on a smartphone into our BrickLink codec. So there's a lot of options. We also have our VH2, which is a voice over IP telephone hybrid. So with a low cost voice over IP plan and a broad um, broadband cable connection, Basically, this is your telephone system, so you're not paying $60, $70 a month for an analog phone service. Beautiful. And it's like $10 a month for a voice over IP phone service. Yeah. And you know, you're paying for your internet already, so there you go. And then you get a telephone number and you can dial into this. Fantastic, and those, those are all great low cost options and entry field options before you start going uh, with the upper end, more radio quality, more radio system. Uh, rack mount stuff. Where can people go to find all this? Where can they go to find a local Comrex rep here in the Austin area or in their local area? So you can go to Comrex.com, C-O-M-R-E-X.com, and you can see all of our products. We have some nice videos on the website as well. And then we have a dealer link so you can find your favorite broadcast supplier, whether it's uh, Broadcast Supply Worldwide, Broadcasters General Store, SCMS, RF Specialties, and all the rest of our dealers are on our website. 
Fantastic, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for taking the time today, Chris, and I can't wait to uh, go out and try some of that fantastic new camera. Talking with Chris earlier with Max Connect. A lot of people named Chris here today for some reason. Um, so, Chris, pleasure Chris. to meet you. Uh, tell us a little bit about Max Connect because, like I was telling you earlier, I do a lot of work on site and venues like this in the corporate AV realm, and. Um, I love the properties I work. Their connections are not always the most bang up. Even whenever you're paying for a hotel room, you don't always have the best connection. Right. But uh, with your technology and the stuff that you have, you can actually have that rock solid connection anywhere. Tell us a little bit about Max Connect Wireless. It's very simple, dedicated 4G, 4G LTE wireless internet service. Very simple. It's below where FirstNet is, but above consumer grade. So we've got our own APN, that's where it all lives, and we get through when no one else can. Wow, and exactly how does it work? Uh, what do you have to have to make it work? Okay, you can go one of two ways. The magic is not in the box here. This is just a standard cradle point router. We'll be happy to sell a cradle point router to somebody. The magic is in the SIM card. So the SIM card, if you have a device like the Comrex device, you can put it right into the Comrex device. If you have your own cradle point router, you can put it into your own cradle point router. It just goes from there off of the SIM card over Verizon or over AT&T. Yeah, and Chris was actually saying earlier whenever we were here pre-show, just that, that he's actually using your SIM cards in uh, the Comrex devices and they are rock solid, always getting connection, always great stuff. Uh, what, how frequently uh, have you seen people starting to implement these in a live broadcast, that kind of stuff? More and more every single day. We have people using these for live streaming audio, live streaming video, or something as simple as just connecting to a remote transmitter site that they can't get internet at. Even in places like this building where the internet is not great, yep. dirty little secret, booth over there is using it, booth here is using it, booth over there is using it. <laughs> so it's all over the place for so many different applications. Absolutely, and it, you know, technology like this is becoming more and more available, and it's great to see it being used in this field where we can use it mobily, be able to get media out there, be able to get our stuff up. Where can everybody go to find out more about Max Connect, to buy the product, uh, get the SD cards, sign up for a plan? It's simple, maxconnectwireless.com. That's two X's, M-A-X-X, connectwireless.com. All right, fantastic. Well, thank you so much for taking thank the time to talk with us today. Uh, we'll be in touch with you here in just a little while. So, once again, just some of the cool technology that comes out every year for broadcasters, podcasters, that kind of stuff. I absolutely love it. As we've been walking around today, we've gotten cards from all kinds of people. Uh, one of the shops that I definitely wanted to stop by and talk with today was the... Uh, Precision Camera. They're based out of Austin here, and they have been one of the longest running games in town as far as camera rental, camera installation, uh, camera purchasing. If you're looking for high-end cameras, if you're looking for a means by which to go out and start doing live broadcasts even, uh, we're going to talk to them here in just a second as well as Sling. Uh, Here's David Scott, actually, from Sling. Let's give him a chat real quick. Yeah. How you doing, David? Good to see you guys. Pleasure to yeah. see you again. Uh, tell us a little bit about the new Sling Studio, the, the great technology that you can now have uh, for mixing live cameras in environments like this. Yep, so I'm David. Uh, I'm with Dish Network. We've been out for about two, two years now with Sling Studio. Essentially what this is is a portable studio. You're able to wirelessly bring in video sources directly into it. Hardware, um, the hub itself is a, is a essentially it's a, a router. You're able to bring in sources in three different ways. Uh, one is HDMI in directly into it. What we have is a, what we have is a camera link. You're able to wirelessly bring video sources as well. And we have a phone where you can download an app and bring those video sources in um, as well. So what we're doing is essentially steering everything on an iPad or MacBook. And it's your, it's your live mixer, your live audio feed as well. Um, you can connect up to 10 video sources, you can visibly see four at one given time, and you're able to not only stream that to Facebook, YouTube, uh, Twitch, RTMP, but you're able to natively keep that um, in the hub itself, whether it be an SD card or saving that to a, a memory space on that aspect. Yeah, and even the fact that you can go mobile with this, the fact that you can, uh, uh, like we were talking earlier pre-show, uh, you could go out into the field, live cut a soccer match, and have five or six moms dialed in wirelessly with their cell phone right on the that, money. that they're already using to right. record. Right so uh, what are some of the 
applications that you're seeing this technology being used for? What are some of the people that are coming to you for distribution of yeah. this stuff? Awesome, good question. So originally when we uh, launched it, it was a small, medium-sized churches. Anyone who can't afford a $10,000 setup, $1,500 is right up their wheelhouse into that. K through 12, whether it be a distance learning, the football team, most football teams are being recorded right now. However, the girls soccer team, the cheerleading, the volleyball team do not they don't have the, the ability to record that as well. Your podcasters, as well as your your live streamers, are able to access this as well. So we're really touching on all the verticals. Um, but the big thing we're jumping into is the the guy who wants to get their feet wet into video production. That's really where we're gearing toward. Yeah, and I mean even independent filmmakers, huge audience for that here in Austin, um, stuff like that. Especially people out doing like 24, 48 hour film yep. festivals, where it would behoove you to be able to cut cameras live yep. instead of having to go back and post produce everything. Yep. Um, how frequently are you seeing this being utilized out in the field for major broadcasts, that kind of stuff? Yep. So in San Antonio, actually yesterday we we're at. KBAT ABC, so they're actually utilizing it for their social media. So they're actually, their social media managers grabbing that, putting it in a truck, and when they don't have access to a large production, now they can go to a little bit lower scale to then access the product that way. Um, we are working some ways to actually incorporate it into their server, but the, the basis of this is jumping into your social media and, and branding up your, your outreach um, on that aspect. So great use case from a professional side, but I would say major news stations, radio stations have been purchasing it up here periodically. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, just the possibilities of being able to do this, like you said, even taking your regular video mixer, putting it in and being yep. able to stream it out live, that kind of stuff, absolutely phenomenal. Uh, what kind of, like you said, the price point on it is yep. pretty low too, right at $1,500? Yep, so the hub itself, which is the, the main portion, is the brains of the operations, $999. You can be done with that purchase if you like to. You simply connect that to an AC power supply, connect phones, connect a, a camera if you like to HDMI. Um, we do have four other accessories, one being the battery, it's about a three hour battery life. Um, and the camera link runs about 349. That is a transmitter that allows your camera to wirelessly connect to our hover stuff. I would say our average ticket from a customer is $1,500. Um, you're done with your purchase after that. There's no software, there's no additional fees. Once you get the hardware, you're good to go. You're able to go home. It's a 30 second boot up. You can do your video production within about five minutes as soon as you take it back home. Yeah, and there's no plans or anything like that. It's literally just a piece of hardware that you can plug any device into and it lets you stream. It's it, and Absolutely amazing technology. Thank you so much for the t taking the time to chat with Thank us, you, explain it all to our audience. Uh, we'll definitely be in touch with you soon, David. Thanks, Thank you so much. It. Thank you. Absolutely. Uh, we were chatting a little while ago. Tell us a little bit about Precision Camera. I know you're one of the salesmen there, uh, one of the most venerable camera shops in town. Like y'all were saying earlier, one of the the largest camera shop between LA and New York. Yeah, pretty much so. I mean, I, I pretty much came out of the Boston area. That's why I kind of noted your cameraman with the hat there. Um, I come from that shop over there for a couple years and moved out of here, been out here for about six years now. Mm -hmm. uh, I love the place. I mean, honestly, um, it, it's a good sense of community, Yeah. you know, more or less. I mean, it, it's hard to compete in an online world. And, that, and, and, and so with that, we do price match with any authorized retailer. Um, we will be, we can be your B and H, if you will. Yeah, yeah. That's what I like to say. Um, and it, that's my favorite thing is that y'all carry a lot of things that the major catalogs do carry in, so. in store, in mm -hmm. stock. It's right there. You don't have to wait four or five days. You exactly. can go exactly. buy local. There are options for that. Um, do y'all do rentals, that kind oh, of stuff yeah, we as have well? A full fledged repair department, rental service. Um, we have a complete dry lab, photo lab. Um, we can uh, do film processing for you in-house. I mean, it's, it's anything photo and video primarily, even in the large-scale aspect, although you might not see it on the shelf, we could, we're still a dealer for them. Absolutely. Now, where can everybody find you online? Where can they find you here locally? Yeah, please. Uh, so in locally, you'll be coming to the northwest area of, of Austin, Burnett Road, Anderson Square, or uh, Anderson Road. Um, otherwise, precision-camera.com because precisioncamera.com is a repair facility. So we, we broke it up a little bit. <laughs> All right, well, fantastic. Thank you so much for taking the time Pleasure. to talk Thank to us so today. Much. We're here with Abe from Aja Technologies to talk to him a little bit about the new Aja Key Pro Go. Let us know a little bit about this new version of the venerable Key Pro product. Yeah, it's, it's, our, it's our newest Key Pro. We're, we're just about to start shipping it now. 
Um, and yeah, classically our key pros in the past, they've been ProRes recorders or Avid DNX recorders. So real, real high data rate, big, big file sizes. It's a post-production oriented uh, codec. Key Pro Go is different in that it's an H.264 recorder. So uh, you don't have the huge file sizes, you don't have these massive data rates. So one of the advantages you get from that is you can use off the shelf media, little USB sticks. You can buy these at any electronic store. We have a certain list, a list of certain ones that we, we recommend for using. But sure. you know, it's very easy to get a hold of a media. But it's a four channel recorder, just like our Key Pro Ultra Plus. So it'll record four channels of HD up to 1080p 60. You can record each channel individually to its own USB stick that you mount on the front, or, uh, or and or actually, uh, there's a fifth USB port on the back, and you can actually have all four channels going to this port while they're being individually ISO recorded on any of these. That's there's, great. There's a lot of options, a lot of flexibility with how you're recording with the Key Pro Go, and it makes it easy for you to give your clients something at the end of the, at the Yeah, end of the exactly. Show. It makes it to where you can just be Go out, buy this, here's the link for it, bring it on site, take it home with you, no transfer at the end of the day, anything like that. Yep, and one of the other products that we were looking at a while ago was actually the FS box. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, the, the what we have here is the FS HDR. This is the, the top of the line FS product that, that we make. It's actually based on the FS4. It is the FS4, but what we have done is add the color front engine to it. So it's a four channel HD frame synchronizer and converter or a single channel 4K frame synchronizer and converter. But the color front engine is basically, uh, it, it's, it's, it was invented by our friends over at Colorfront. These are Academy Award winning industry leaders in the world of color science. Um, and what the Colorfront engine does is basically apply a very, very complex algorithm to incoming video signals, and it takes it can take SDR and make it HDR. So your standard dynamic range becomes high dynamic range video, and it's really, really beautiful stuff. And your incoming signal, it could be log formats from various different cameras, from Sony, Canon, Arri, all those guys. Um, or it could be just incoming baseband video from pretty much any source. And the other cool thing is because it is the FS4 and it can be a four channel HD or a single channel 4K, if you're in an HD facility but you want to make some HDR content, you can actually do an SDR to HDR conversion on four channels of HD video all at once, all happens in real time. Wow, that is amazing. And where can people go to find their local Asha distributor, where they where can they go to find this stuff online? You can go to our website, aja.com. It's a real easy one. Uh, there's a where to buy page. Uh, the link is right up at the top of the website. You can find resellers local to you. You can find resellers wherever you want. We, sh we sell worldwide. We have distribution all across the globe. All right. Well, fantastic. Thank you so much for taking the time today, Abe. Right Greatly appreciate it. We're here with Eric Beyer from Sennheiser Microphones to talk a little bit about some of the new products they have coming out, as well as updates to some venerable great stuff. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Doing great, man. Uh, very exciting things that y'all have going on. Tell us a little bit about some of the new products you have. Right. So uh, within our within our uh, our top of the line broadcast uh, wireless systems with a digital 6000, we have our new micro body pack, the 6212 which uh, the biggest thing that everybody's loving about it is it has a 12-hour battery life. That's incredible. Yeah, and then by integrating with our L6000 um, uh, rack charger and have a backup battery, I mean, it's just it's pretty much endless use. And what frequencies does that cover? I mean, is it is it just full digital range? or? So you get this to, to operate between 470 and 608, so in the legal uh, band that we're able to, to operate in. Okay. Um, you know, detachable antennas, of course, Lemo connector, and just with the form factor and everything, makes it really easy and nice for uh, for theater and broadcast to use for getting into wardrobe and things like that. Yeah, absolutely, and even in my world, in the corporate AV world, uh, that's one of the big things that we have all the time is ladies. Um, right. We always have to clip the microphone packs to the back of their collar because yep. women's clothing does not cooperate with our toys. That's right. uh, so a light form factor like that is absolutely desirable for that use. Right. Uh, what's some of the other things you all have coming out? Well, let's say coming out, we have uh, uh, some products that we actually already have out uh, but are very popular, especially here at this particular show. Our AVX, which is uh, operates in 1.9. Okay. And so, you know, we have a, a small small compact receiver with oh, wow. XLR, and uh, we have a body pack that goes with that, 
or handheld transmitter. Oh, and incredible. Because it operates in 1.9, it uh, there's really no setup involved other than just pairing the transmitter and receiver and you're done. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about frequency coordination within your own uh, system. Yeah, well, and especially stepping into environments like this in hotels where you're blanketed with RF. Yes. Um, that kind of stuff. It's a frequent issue uh, to have to go through and find. Even on the shows I work, we normally have a designated frequency coordinator right. that just knows all the local frequencies. It's fun to watch him track people down with his little device when they walk off with a lapel right. mic. But uh, to know that you can do that now and not have to worry about any kind of local interference, that kind of stuff, is amazing technology. You'll also have some new, uh, or not new, but some 2.4 gig stuff. Correct. Now, this is actually, uh, this is new. This is our XSWD system. And it actually has, uh, uh, like you said, a, a 2.4 gigahertz. And what's popular in the ENG uh, or even like the, the DSLR operation type stuff, this is your transmitter. And you just uh, use our, our standard 3.5 millimeter uh, uh, lav mic or head-worn mic. Yeah. And this is the receiver. It goes on a cooled shoe mount. And then, again, just a cable that'll come out of here going yeah. straight in your camera. Uh, real simple setup. Just, you know, hold these down, they pair, and mm -hmm. away you go. Wow, that is awesome. Yeah. And I actually see a, uh, a, what looks like a mobile lapel mic there for iDevices. Tell us a little bit about that, because, of course, in the podcast realm, things like that, even out doing stuff like this, to be able to go fully mobile like that is a great option. Yeah, so this is, uh, this is our MKE2 lavalier omnidirectional microphone. Uh, with a, a Thunderbolt uh, connector on the end and uh, when paired with the, the Apogee app that you can download you get a lot of really exciting features and how do you can manage the audio file but even just using the standard um, uh, audio recorder or, or notes recorder on yep. your iPhone uh, this will work just fine. Fantastic. And what's the price point on a product like that? Uh, I believe this one is, I think, two ninety nine, three ninety nine dollars okay. range on this particular one. Yeah, yeah. utterly affordable technology. Yeah. And uh, as, as things have grown, I know you were talking about uh, y'all have a clip one as well for uh, broadcast, everything else. So We have our, our, our two-channel digital slot-in receiver. Uh, right now, this is set up to be kind of a standalone, so we got batteries attached to it right now. And can uh, you have your your body clip or belt clip to it? Yeah. Um, but it is full digital, but it can also operate with our uh, with our 100 series tra analog transmitters. Oh, that's great! And you can even intermix, so you can do one of each if you want to. You can do our digital transmitter and an analog receiver. Yeah, you can still use channel. the stuff that you've invested your money in and everything else prior to that. Yep, that is correct. Absolutely uh, awesome. And it has, you know, has analog out and of course DC power capability. It does go in uh, standard slot and receivers um, uh, for, uh, you know, like Panasonic and Sony and things like that. Um, there's also uh, a program set up to where this can be monitored on a sound devices recorder. Oh, cool. As well. And also the ability to uh, adjust settings and things like that on a laptop or computer on the field. That is absolutely incredible. Where can people go to find their local Sennheiser dealer? Where can they go to find all the products online? So, of course, Sennheiser.com, uh, you know, you can go and, and look and there is a dealer locator on there. Uh, but really, you know, your, your, your friendly integrator and uh, distributor should be able to carry the products. And, uh, you know, of course, we're always available to help with uh, answering any technical questions you have. All right. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us and our audience today. Uh, take care. Enjoy the rest of the trade show. We'll be chatting with you soon. Uh, this is just some of the great technology that is presented at the Texas Association of Broadcasters trade show every year. Uh, if you are a broadcaster, if you are a podcaster, make sure to contact them. Get a hold of them. Uh, TAB.org is where you can go for everything. Uh, while you're online checking that out, make sure to check us out. TalkingSoundShow.com as well as HCUniversalNetwork.com. Till next time, everybody, take care of yourselves, take care of your hearing, and keep reaching for 11. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>